This is Steamboat Willie, once Disney's most coveted possession. I say once because as of January 1st, 2024, this cartoon and this version of its star are joining the public domain. Successfully utilizing early sync sound, it's a technical achievement, but that's not the reason Disney would go on an almost 90 year crusade influencing Congress and copyright law as a whole. The reason would actually be this guy, Mickey Mouse. Created by animator Walt Disney soon after a departure with Universal Studios cost him the use of his other creation, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, the little rodent would find himself the star of multiple short subjects and specials over the last century. But I realized something interesting amongst all the talk about him joining the public domain. We never had a Mickey movie. I'm not saying he's never been in movies, and I'm not talking about cameos and anthologies featuring short subjects with him. And I don't have a problem with short films. But he's Disney's crown prince, backed by the largest studio in existence. Why hasn't he had a feature film? Well, first I did a little digging. And I guess we need to ask ourselves, why did Disney lobby so long to protect Steamboat Willie? Because Mickey went from simply a cute character to a corporate mascot, and by doing so, they had to keep his nose clean at all times, and remain the first thing you thought of when somebody uttered the name Disney. Okay, that makes sense, but look at the studio across the street, Warner Brothers, which has had Bugs Bunny star in thousands of short subjects. He's headlined also a number of features. Two Space Jams, Looney Tunes back in action, and you're gonna laugh at this comment, but Bugs has always been the edgy one. Early Looney Tunes had jokes for kids and adults utilizing in-jokes and violence, whereas Mickey could always be counted on to keep things nice and safe. But the Boy Scout image also cost the character in the long run. Ever since I was a kid, Mickey was always just kind of there, and just raised believing he's important for the sake of importance. I guess a good character to compare him to would be Goofy, a beloved Disney character who featured in a bunch of shorts for almost the same amount of time, but in the 1990s he was given his own TV show and a teenage son named Max. This would lead to Goofy heading the feature film, A Goofy Movie, in 1995. Goofy would be given conflict and dimension more than previous years when he was just hurt himself doing house chores and screwing up ski trips. But this movie would go on to focus on Goofy trying to keep his son out of trouble while the kid copes with the very relatable problem of his dad being just Goofy. Interestingly, Mickey would be involved. He'd make a small cameo in the feature, yes, and also star in a short film, Runaway Brain, which played in cinemas before a Goofy movie aired. It was the closest attempt we'd see at someone trying to give him a third dimension, seeing Mickey as a video game playing slacker boyfriend who forgets his anniversary and ends up getting his brain swapped with a, with a Frankenstein monster and showcased the mouse as the stuff of creepypastas. Yes, I know that there's a creepypasta. The short would receive mixed reviews and an Oscar nomination and then quickly be forgotten to time and we wouldn't see him for another short subject until 2013's Get a Horse. Once again, Mickey was stifled by audiences, feeling creeped out and perverted by putting him into a risque setting, even though deep down his audience seems secretly to find this kind of thing funny too. Oh, you don't need to see that! Disney! Seen as early as World War II, enemy countries would use Mickey's visage as a mascot for American imperialism. Eventually, with Disney's ever-growing reputation as a corporate juggernaut, America itself joined in on the joke. Yeah, the little mouse was never allowed too much wiggle room. And I guess with all that said, the company just always thought a full-on Mickey movie would be a no-win scenario. In recent years, with the studio growing as large as it has, enveloping Fox Studios and two major franchises, I'm getting kind of exhausted mentioning on these videos, they have so many things going on now, a mouse is the last thing that comes to mind. And after almost 100 years, the first version of Mickey is finally being released to all of us. And I hope the character can stretch his legs and explore more stories than he ever could before. In 2024, let's elevate Mickey beyond the image of corporate imperial greed and give him one beyond thought possible. 25 bucks will get you a Steamboat Willie! Steamboat Willie? That sounds- Oh right, this is the internet.